How's it going everybody in Giants Nation? Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, it is game day. The Giants will take the field tonight for preseason week three and they take on the Bengals. Before we get into this video, yesterday I did post my top five things that I'm going to be watching for in this week three matchup. So definitely check that video out. I'll leave it in the description, up in the annotation. You know the drill. Before the Giants take the field tonight, I do have some news and updates in regards to some potential rookie debuts and some very positive injury news as far as some players we've been hoping to see. First thing I wanna get into today is a few updates on injuries that I did report in previous videos and then as well as a cut that the Giants did make. Um, defensive back Antonio Hamilton, DeAndre Baker, and Sam Beal, of course, are not expected to play tonight. In addition to them, Alec Ogletree and Tay Davis will also be inactive for this game. In terms of wide receivers, we have some very positive news coming out of Giants camp. Um, as I reported earlier in the week, Sterling Shepard is fully recovered from that thumb injury. Um, although he will not play tonight, he is gonna be more than ready for week one. Um, and that goes for many current injured Giants players. DeAndre Baker taking it very slowly, no reason to rush him. He will be ready for week one. Um, same with Alec Ogletree and Tay Davis. Um, won't be playing in this game, which is unfortunate, but the goal, the biggest thing on the menu is week one in Dallas. But we do have some very exciting news. Giants rookie Darius Slayton is going to be making his NFL preseason debut tonight. As we know, Slayton, a draft pick, this past draft by the Giants has been really hobbled by hamstring injury, not getting much playing time in, in team scrimmages and practice. And of course we have not seen him at all in preseason. Um, it's going to be very exciting to see him on the field. A lot of reports coming out of camp, both from players and coaches, they are very excited to see the potential that this kid has just because of the natural talent he has. And it does look like the New York Giants have decided to move on from Damari Scott. Um, the young wide receiver was cut yesterday. He did not travel with the team to Cincinnati. And it's simple. I mean, there's only so many people you can have in that wide receiver room. And so far in preseason, it's slowly becoming a very, very stiff competition. Um, guys like TJ Jones blowing everyone away. Uh, Alonzo Russell having good games. Um, it's it's tough, but you know there are more cuts to come, so they're probably just trying to trim the fat now rather than just dumping all of them at once. Um, another guy that comes to mind, Reggie White Jr. It is a very, very packed wide receiver room, and Damari Scott is just gonna be the first victim. Now moving on, there are some very positive articles and news coming out of camp about Evan Ingram. Ingram, of course, the draft pick of the Giants in 2017, broke out in a huge way in his rookie campaign, eclipsing over 700 receiving yards. The following season, Ingram obviously saw his role decrease because of the return of Odell Beckham from that ankle injury, and Ingram, with some hamstring injuries, did not help his case either. But it appears that Evan Ingram is ready to turn a corner in 2019. Uh, as Daryl Slater of NJ.com reported, um, nearly every day before practice, Evan Ingram, Wayne Gallman, and Kyle Loletta go out on the practice field running routes, going over assignments. You love to see that, that extra work in things that they don't have to do. Um, one day after those extra routes, Gallman spoke with the New Jersey Advanced Media and he had this to say. I think he's made huge leaps this summer. Um, it's up to him to bring that out here and show it in games, which he will do. I think he can be one of the best tight ends in the league. Although Ingram has not played in the Giants' first two preseason games, nor do I think he'll play in the next two, that might be a part of the plan. Uh, according to Newsday, the Giants' new offense and new role for Evan Ingram potentially could be a factor as to why he's not playing, as the Giants are trying to hide this new scheme from the teams that they will play down the line in the regular season, which makes a lot of sense. 
Um, but if you talk to Pat Shermer, the coach of the New York Giants, or the tight end himself, they would tell you Ingram improved most in his blocking this preseason and throughout camp, which is awesome to hear. I mean, that was the one thing against Ingram is he is a slightly undersized tight end, might not be able to get the blocking done that is needed. We all know the speed, we all know the route running. If Evan Ingram incorporates good core blocking, as Wayne Gallman said, he could be one of the best tight ends in the league. To wrap this section up and actually to lead into my next topic of discussion, Odell Beckham Jr. Now, whenever Odell was not on the field for the Giants, you saw flashes of greatness from Evan Ingram. Eli's not constantly scanning the field looking to see if Odell Beckham's open because you want to get your playmaker the ball. Instead, you saw the former Ole Miss tight end streaking downfield. Um, if you just look at the numbers where Odell was inactive or not playing whatsoever, for the season in terms of 2017 Ingram's rookie year, you saw Evan Ingram getting his. <laughs> he was getting the ball in his hands and he was wreaking havoc. And I really think 2019, Odell out of the picture, this is gonna be Evan Ingram's breakout season. And lastly, as I said, I wanna talk about Odell Beckham Jr. First things first, for those of you who saw my recent video on Baker Mayfield and the comments he made about Daniel Jones, this is gonna be a completely different video. All I really wanna say is Odell, please stop. I completely understand the situation. You feel betrayed by the team that drafted you. You feel they used your abilities and wasted some of your prime years with poor play on the field. But by no means did we send you to Cleveland to die. If we were going to send you someplace to die, we would have sent you and traded you to the XFL. Instead, we send you to a promising young team with a new quarterback and a very talented wide receiving group. With that being said, I will never say a harsh word about Odell Beckham Jr. I don't know if many Giants fans remember, but the period of time between our last Super Bowl win and 2014 when Odell was drafted, the Giants took a dip. The team from the city that never sleeps was missing its superstar, missing its reason for fans to come to the building. Now us diehard Giants fans, we were there through thick and thin and will always be there no matter what. But there was something missing from the casual fan. I'm currently working on a video called Why I Am a Giants Fan, where I explain what my infatuation is with this franchise, which goes all the way down to dedicating my entire right leg to a sleeve of tattoos. I am Giants through and through. I bleed blue and I always will. Odell reinvigorated New York. He brought a show-stealing act every Sunday when he was on the field. Now, although Odell's tenure in New York only resulted in one playoff game, the plays he made on the field will go down in NFL history as some of the best ever. So I say, Odell, Please stop. Stop the comments toward your former team and teammates, and let's just move on. The last thing I want to see is one of my favorite players of all time ostracized and abandoned and completely forgotten about by his former franchise because of comments made. Think about what Tiki Barber went through for a number of years after leaving the Giants. Odell. He'll always be one of my favorite players of all time. He gave me memories that I'll never forget. I just hope everything smooths out. I hope one day Odell will be welcomed back with open arms for the job he did in New York while he was here. I'm sorry to end on such a somber note, guys. I'm going to leave the links to the two articles, the NJ.com article about Evan Ingram and his new role. That'll be the Newsweek article in the description below. Um, it is game day, so let's get hyped. Cincinnati Bengals tonight. Let's get another win in preseason. 
Uh, a few videos you could definitely check out my top five things to watch in that game tonight. And as I said, that'll be in the annotation and the description below. Uh, of course, Madden franchise, New York Giants franchise, episode three will be dropping today. So go check out two prior episodes. Um, beyond that, get ready for the game tonight and I'll see you in the next one, guys.